negative and feeling down on yourself, um, that can also be a, a brokenness, can't it? Um, broken stuff. A friend of mine, her dishwasher broke and her stove broke the same week. And um, when our body breaks <coughs> down, that can make us feel pretty bad too. Uh, and chronic illness and disease. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the RH factor. And I want to show you a little picture of a couple here. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? Smiling on the outside, looks like they're having a happy day. Uh, <laughs> some of you may not know, isn't that Terry's first wife? <laughs> yes, uh, this guy is Terry Pettit, uh, a former pastor from Portland, Oregon, and that's his first wife. <laughs> And uh, this couple, they were, they just looked like they were just having a, you know, a great little day, just happy, smiling on the outside. But they were really broken on the inside. Um, and then this picture here, um, yeah, there she is. She's smiling again. That's that first wife. And um, actually, she looks kind of shiny. And the reason she was so shiny, it wasn't because she was really happy, it's because she was really sweaty. <laughs> because she had just walked down the hallway at Portland Community College to set up a um, retirement party for her beloved boss who was leaving. And um, before I started on my optimal health journey in 2002, my RH factor was negative. And when I say RH factor, I'm talking about my real health factor, my RH factor. The quality of my health and my life were both in the dumper. Well, I mean, they were really in the tank. And <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this before, but this is a real septic pump. Oh, well, really <laughs> wacky scene. But I, I just felt like that's where my life was, you know? Um, oh. Yesterday's meals on wheels were in that septic tank. And my body, you know, back here, was a septic tank. I'd had too many meals. <laughs> On wheels. Dining from the dashboard. You know what I mean? The drive up dashboard and constantly on that kind of thing. Well, our intention today really is not to play that <coughs> game show Wheel of Misfortune, but um, <laughs> if you had or have health challenges before you started on our optimal health program, shout out, I did or I do. I did. Okay, well I definitely did. Now we make no health claims um, that, that health conditions will be reversed or halted as a result of getting on our health, our optimal health program. But we do know that many risk factors are associated with being overweight. And um, this guy is a little bit freaked out. And if we had x-ray vision and you could look inside of me where I was 10 years ago or 11 years ago and where my husband was, um, I had low energy, my joints were deteriorating, I had an autoimmune disorder, and I had mel metabolic syndrome, which means high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood, <coughs> blood sugar, and I had high anxiety too. And I was really, um, really discouraged because I didn't really know how to rectify that situation. And you know, when I realized that I was dealing with the double negative RH factor, <coughs> my real health was negative, and my real happiness was nearly negatory too. And about that time, a caring friend of ours told us about the Optimal Health Company and the Optimal Health Plan that helps people create health in their life and to develop a healthy waistline that would last not just for you know a temporary short time, but a healthy lifetime of health. That's what I was really looking for. And I really listened carefully as my, my friend explained how most people that you meet really want to look and feel better. That's what we really want. We want to 
want to look and feel better. And yet, most of us are misinformed about how to get what we want. We don't know how to do it. And uh, looking over, you know, most of us are like looking over our shoulder with disease on our tail. And we're just running fast enough just to kind of keep ahead of it. But over years, that compounds. And pretty soon, the disease factors catch up with us. And that's exactly where I was when I was smiling on the inside, or on the outside, but broken on the inside. So I took warning from my doctor and from my friend as he began to share more with me about the optimal health program. And you know, when I first got started, I just thought there's just not enough time in the day. Uh, and yet, when I started to think about it, if I didn't take the time today, I will lose exponentially more time and more health down the line. And I'm not talking about spiky math here. It's just a real simple <coughs> fact that if people don't subtract a little time from their day right now to work on improving their health, then down the line they're going to be subtracting a lot more time because the compound effect of poor eating habits, poor sleep, high anxiety, all those things take a toll. And uh, what I wanted to say is that a lot of times we're faced with so many choices, you know, and it's difficult to make the right choices. And yet with the guidance and the support of a mentor coach, over time, step by step, our health and our shape began to change. And um, I went from being buffet to being buff. <laughs> well, maybe not buff, but better, you know. And um, when we consider our RH factor, our real health factor, again, most of us are really misinformed about what's the best thing for us. Our optimal health plan features nutritionally balanced meals, unlike what you see on the screen with sugar, salt, and fat. Our, uh, our program features medically formulated meal replacements that are a perfect balance of lean protein, some healthy fat, and some low glycemic carbohydrates. Hydrate. So they're specially designed to support our health. And, um, you know, uh, one of the things, too, is that uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I, was, I felt pretty good when I got to that stage. <laughs> I mean, imagine, I was as big as a linebacker. I was getting close to 300 pounds. I didn't have just a muffin top, but I had a muffin body. And so I really needed to have reformation going on in terms of what kinds of foods I was eating. Because really, what we eat can either help us or hinder us. And um, with our optimal health program, I really learned about what kinds of choices are best to, to make. Now, one of the things that I was really concerned about when I first got started on the program <laughs> was hunger. Because I had always felt hungry on every diet that I'd ever been on before. And that's because Diets are not something that people can stay on and sustain for, for a long time, for, for a lot of time. And our program absolutely is not a diet. And because it is not a diet, but it is an optimal health program, a complete program, we don't have hunger issues. Now, the first few weeks, maybe when you're first getting used to the program, well, you might have those twinges where you really want to have a piece of apple pie. But when you begin to think about what it is that you're creating and changing your life and your desire is to live a longer, healthier life, it makes it much easier to, to make those choices. You know, they say that it takes a village to raise a child. I mean, lots of grandparents, that's for sure. But um, <coughs> to raise my health factor from negative RH factor to a positive RH, real health, with real happiness, I needed a village of support. And my village of support was my, my health coach mentor who came along beside me. He'd been there. He'd been on the program. He knew little tidbits that he could share with me. 
and help me when I was going to go through a, some kind of a social engagement and I wasn't sure if I would be able to say, no, thank you. Um, and he, he gave me some strategies that were really, really helpful. The other things is that, that I used was a great uh, book from our, um, our medical director. It's called The Habits of Health Book. It's a health manual and a workbook called Living a Longer, Healthier Life. And I utilized that. That was part of the village that helped to raise me up and change my RH factor from negative to positive. You know, if you're seeking optimal health and you're considering becoming an optimal health coach yourself or maybe sharing our program with someone else, it doesn't <coughs> take a lot of time. You know, we all have 24 hours in our day. And I know that taking one hour to focus on your health means giving up about 4% of your day. Now, for some of you, that may seem like an awful lot of an intrusion in your life right now. So then I would say start with 1%. If you can give 15 minutes of your life and focus on your health, you can change your RH factor in a considerable way. Those 15 minutes that I'm talking about, that includes planning and packing your food for the day. By that I mean with our program, we eat every two to three hours so that you don't have that hunger factor. It's just not there. <coughs> it keeps your blood sugar stabilized, keeps the hunger away, your energy is renewed every two to three hours. You're having another uh, another fueling. <coughs> so you feel steady, um, steady power and energy for the tasks at hand. And so in a, just a matter of a couple of minutes, you can pack five meal <coughs> replaces. This is like almost a whole day's food right here in this little bag. Almost a whole day's food. This takes a couple minutes. Another thing that we need to do is think about planning about how I'm going to incorporate my water because drinking water is a very important habit of health. One of the things that I did was I would just pick, I knew that my bottle held 12 ounces of water, so I thought about how much I needed to drink in the course of my day, and I put rubber bands on my bottle to help me to remember, and each time I would drink my bottle and empty it down and refill it, I would take a rubber band off and go, oh, just three more bottles to, to go. And that was a great way. Or I would just take a little tally mark and make, make hashtags on, on a post-it note to keep track of my water intake during the day. Just 15 minutes a day to plan ahead, to pack and to prepare my food. Now, that's not all that you, that you eat. In addition to leaning green, or in addition to those five meal replacements, we also have a leaning green meal. And you probably think, can figure out exactly what a lean and green meal is. But it's lean protein, like fish or poultry or seafood or meat, about the size, about the size of a deck of cards. That's the, the cooked weight is five to seven ounces. And in addition to that, we talk about the green. Now, before we got started on the program, my husband, I'm going to tell a little, little secret about him. The only green things he ever had in his life were his green frosting on donuts <laughs> at St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Occasional lettuce leaf would frost his tongue, but that's about it. But with Take Shape for Life, those of you that have been on our program, you learn that the, that green, the ABCs, that things like asparagus, broccoli, and cauliflower, and cucumber, the ABCs, are important, healthy uh, foods to eat. So a deck of cards worth of protein and a couple of wads of mixed green vegetables like salad mix, a couple of wads of that, or a wad and a half of ABC of green vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, and you've got your meal plan, your plan for the day. Um, and the other thing I was <coughs> going to share with you is that uh, Temporarily, we set aside the things like the pie group, temporarily. Um, we set aside some other things like some fruit, set aside fruit for a while, fruit and dairy and starchy vegetables and grains. But I didn't say that we have to set aside the chocolate group. Oh, no. Um, our company manufactures wonderful chocolate meal replacements. We have great things like chocolate pudding, chocolate mint soft syrup, 
chocolate sauce baked cookie.